evening, everybody, and welcome to the Board of Selectmen's meeting for Tuesday, August 9th. I ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. <sighs> no words. We're good. Announcements. Volunteers are needed to serve on several town committees, including the Advisory Committee, Local Public Access Committee, Conservation Commission. Letter of interest should be submitted to the Board of Selectmen, 6 Central Street, Brookfield, Mass., 01506, or simply email the Selectmen's Office at selectmen at brookfieldma.us. Mr. Wallinan, District A to Senator Ann Gobi will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 10 to 11 a.m. Tuesday, August 23rd. All are welcome. State Representative Donnie Berthune will hold office hours from 5 to 6 p.m. Tuesday, September 6th at the Town Hall. Anybody wish to address the board this evening? <laughs> what announcement? That's Tyler. Tyler. That's Tyler Molan. I made that. I made it, right? Yeah, you made you're, it. You're yeah. good. I thought the sun was beating me today, too. Uh, agenda item number one uh, has come time, um, and I would thank... Uh, Peter for working very diligently to find the owner of this piece of property. Uh, it's now the boat ramp. Uh, the state now needs us to transfer our ownership over to them. That was part of the deal for the Quaybog Bridge project. So I'll entertain said motion. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 It just takes your signature? The other two or it's all of us. Oh, it's all of us. Okay. Do you want to yes, start? Mm -hmm. Oh. You're meeting it, eh? What's huh? that? You're meeting it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even <laughs> see that. <laughs> Not to work. I think they'll get the point. Can we never notarize these? I will. Because they need to be notarized. Yeah. Okay. Item number two, uh, we're requested uh, to make a, uh, an official vote to support the CMRPC MassWorks grant application. Um, so I'll entertain a motion, and this is for kind of the switching. We wanted to apply for that grant for that road, but it's kind of more dedicated towards the bridge yeah. to get money for that. So I'll entertain a motion to uh, support the CMRPC of MassWorks grant application for the replacement of Quaybog Street Bridge. I will make that motion. I'll second it with a comment. Comment so, away. Uh, so Cindy was preparing a whole bunch of mm -hmm. input, yeah, and I so I, I grabbed num number eight as, di mm -hmm. as directed and provided a bunch of uh, more of the natural resource, cultural resource, okay. and why it's important, mm -hmm. the boat ramp, the like. So that's done um, and in Cindy's hands. Good. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Item number three uh, for the town's uh, education. We took a vote uh, Friday morning to um, accept the proposal for Collins Engineering to uh, start the process of designing the, and actually even starting the process of the permitting uh, for Quaybugs for the bridge. Is it Dunbrook Bridge? Is that yeah, Dunbrook Dun Bridge on Quaybrook Street. Frizio's Corner, that's what I call it. Yeah. Um, so we're good with that. The next step, we went out. Uh, there's some engineering involved in regards to the temporary bridge. The $100,000, I think, was an overestimation. 
uh, due to engineering costs, and that's that tells you what engineers get. And I think we're all in the wrong profession. Um, but it's it's been limited. Um, highway department feels that it's not going to be over five thousand dollars to mm -hmm. put a temporary bridge in. Yeah, that's good. With that, I'm okay with entertaining a motion for the uh, the next phase, which would be Collins Engineering for design phase one and two of putting in a temporary bridge. Um, working every day on it, it, it does look promising. I uh, spoke with the police chief as well. There is going to be more patrols, both from Brookfield and East Brookfield, oh, on the other cool. side of the bridge uh, due to residents and issues there. So I'll entertain a, a motion to allow the chair to sign the proposal contract for Collins Engineering for phase one and two of the temporary bridge. Design. I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Item number four. Uh, we were informed Friday morning as well that the seasonal worker has not uh, shown back then. I think it was four days, still has not shown. Um, the highway department wants to go out uh, to bid again for another employee. They're requesting $15 an hour for that individual. I, I'm not okay with that for mowing lawns. I don't even know if I'm okay with spending hundreds of dollars to go out for advertising for that again. Uh, we might want to do a word of mouth. I don't know if that's legal. That's kind of how we got this gentleman last time he heard. How many hours a week? Do you think? He was scheduled for 40 hours a week. Sure. Oh. Um, I don't think it's the wage. From what I'm hearing, it was another issue with this gentleman. It wasn't about the money. I think we can find people. The issue and, and the reason why we hired this person was to mow fields. I haven't mowed my lawn, I think, in four or five weeks because of the drought. I think we're in the same situation. Yeah. If we're mowing every week, we're going to kill these lawns. Mm. So I would entertain a discussion in regards to their request. Well, Cindy, I know Cindy had said in the email, you know, if we go without one, then we're going to have to pay the guys overtime, and we don't want to stop. I, I disagree with that. I, I think we can manage it in a different, different way. There's really no major projects going on right now, is there? Besides the bridge. The bridge. But there's no, there's no physical work down there. Just well, a lot of paperwork. Will they need an extra worker when they start doing the bridge? No, 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 no. But I, but I think that from a planning, from a this individual was strictly, if you remember correctly, was for mowing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and the only thought that I had was that if you could find somebody, and, and, and it goes to not to exceed fifteen dollars mm -hmm. uh, to get around this thing, is to get to have the latitude, or la the opportunity. Should we have, by word of mouth, that there is someone available, that if it were to be not to exceed fifteen, with the idea that if you're mowing, it's twelve. If you're doing something mechanical, it's towards 15, mm -hmm. and see what they could do to come up with some resource. I, I, I don't want to leave it that broad. I don't think we should put a, a number in the paper like we did the second time. Oh, no, 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 I don't no, think no, there no, should no. be a number is, in the paper I, this, either. I, I see this as the way that I saw this email was a request to put a number of 15 in an advertisement. No, I, no. no where Can't I'm, where I'm headed, because of where we are and in, in, in lateness in the mm -hmm. summer anyway. I, I would just say if, if we could find somebody, if there's, there's knowledge of someone that might be available on some basis, part-time or otherwise, to have the capability of ha hiring, that would be a good thing. Yeah. It would be So do we want to spend hundreds of dollars to go out to advertise again? No, I would just no, I give her the latitude. Just put it out on the website and... I mean, on our website, Facebook, and put it out on the... Is Greg's List free now to advertise? People do. Yeah, people people do. It's there. It's there. I yeah. think Marlene had to pay for the oh, assessor, she, wasn't uh, it? She's saying she could put it in the current. If, yeah. if you'd like to advertise that, we're looking. Sure. So you're looking for seasonal workers? Seasonal employee for the highway department? Period. Period. <laughs> Period. Con contact the. Um, would you rather have this? They're going to 40, but I'm thinking with the with the season yeah, and the with drought. The season, it's kind of coming to a close. I don't know if they're using it. Yeah. I know he was emptying trash. At least was, part time, if not. Yeah, part time. Or even. Uh, oh, as, as, I, I would say as many as 40, to, based on what what the workload. Maybe would be. up to 40 yeah. hours per week. Yeah, put may, maybe up to 40 hours a week. And I know you were discussing salary. Yeah, no, just, yeah, just leave that out. Yeah. Good, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Um, contact the highway department or the selectman's office? Highway. 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 Yeah, highway. Make it direct. Yeah. Are there specific person in there or just in general? 
The highway department sent Cindy Thompson at the highway department. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. So we're good with that? Mm -hmm. That would be good. Item number five, wage authorization. I'm not comfortable even entertaining a motion right yet. Okay. Um, if I'd ask Karen for you to look at this, I guess she didn't well, transfer. Didn't come in and I was going to have you do it. I would have been comfortable if you, you as a member would have looked at it, but we have a unwritten policy as well not to sign wage authorizations with the, without the uh, personnel board signature. I know they meet on the 18th. So I, I think once they review it, um, it's she will get paid by law. Yeah. She's going to get paid, okay. so it's not an issue. So okay. we'll, we'll table that and bring it back up after they reviewed it. Okay. Uh, item number six, a event has been, an event, I keep, my brain was horrible this evening. Uh, has been canceled by the sponsor of an event on September 5th on South Pond uh, due to the weather, the lack of water. <laughs> and they're requesting us to allow them to reschedule that event for on August. September. So, so, okay, the best. Okay, so they're canceling the August 20th and they're requesting yeah. the uh, uh, September 5th date of uh, five vehicles, five boats, South Pond. Uh, Worcester County Bassers, 5 a.m., starting at 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Dr. Tain said motion. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, through email correspondence, Mr. Snyder has some uh, information on the campground, so the floor is yours, sir. So I just seven. wanted to take an opportunity to update the board uh, as to the timing we we had hoped that mass historical would have been back to us in late june or july they they were not did not and, and so the scope of work approved by them w was received last friday so i spent uh, about six hours since last friday to develop the proposal the rf the draft rf uh q you can just see the content um this is a draft. It went back to Mass Historical today to say, what are your comments with the expectation that I'll hear back by the end of the week? Okay. My, yeah. my problem with this is that what we started off to be, a, a, a scope that started off, what has happened is the lead archeologist for the state has uh, gone out for health issues. I'm now dealing with his boss. And so what, what we thought was pretty straightforward has kind of grown in scope. So I'm a little nervous when we go out to those that are interested in this work scope that it will be, they'll come back with, with a much higher number than what they were expecting. So I think we're gonna have a little um, exercise to go on to be able to uh, solidify what the scope really will be for the eventual uh, consultant that we do in fact hire. Now, with the fellow that came out this spring, is he the one that's not the available? Yeah, no. Yeah, Ed no, Bell is not available. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. So he's got some health issues. So anyway, so what this does is that I've added a couple of weeks to get things in newspapers, and yes, we'll be coming at you with a legal ad. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, if we were to get this thing going here in a couple of weeks, which would be like around August 22nd, it would be somewhere around mm -hmm. September 27th. Yes where we would then uh, be coming a joint meeting between this board and uh, Brookfield Historical Commission to decide on the consultant. What I'm hopeful that the consultant would then say is that he could get the site work done before November 30th, and that's what's in there, so that the, before cold weather, that we get the work, the field work done by December 30th to have a draft report. And then what Mass Historical is looking at is some sometime in April to get the preliminary and sometime in June to be final. What I, what I would hope to do is to pull up those dates or phases to be more like January, February, if we can at all possible. So I just, we see sc scope creep, that's, that's, that's what you're seeing there from a par couple of paragraphs, that how we started to yeah, something a little, little bit more extensive. Yes, it is. So, we'll do, and again, fly it out there and see who we get to, to quote on it. And, and he's gonna help yeah. you edit this possible? Yes, okay. yeah, yeah, and again, it, they, we, we, we have to approve and they have to approve, so what I'm looking for is their approval, mm -hmm. so I can come back to us to then say. So when they give yeah. you their template and say you could have just used this, you're gonna start crying, right? No, 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 I'm, I'm using a lot of their template. Oh, okay. But I, but this is a lot the, of their the, template. <laughs> a lot of, oh the back goodness. end of that's a lot, a lot of their yeah. template, but when it comes to the work scope and, and the like, you have to fit yeah. that in. 
So anyway, so yes, you use the template and yeah. you thank them very much for it, but it was, it's still time consuming. Oh yeah, you can see it's a lot more than before. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you for that. So thank you. The, only, the only thought that I, in, in going through the details of the paperwork, we have allotted through town meeting the 17.5. What this thing is saying is that we pay our 17.5, but that they then will reimburse after we pay the second 17.5. Okay. So I'm gonna, I, what I would hope we could do with a consultant is have them hold the invoice until we get paid from the state, and then we okay. then pay them. So that, that will be my strategy in looking to negotiate with the, the consultant, okay. is that phases two, three and four, roughly, would be that we'll hold the invoice, and as soon as the state pays us, we pay them. Okay. So that, yeah, that sounds good. Just make sure that's the contract. Yeah. Yeah. So, work on the problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Item eight, other. Uh, we received correspondence that we have a certificate of compliance with dam safety in regards to sawmill pond projects, so that's a very good thing from yeah. DCR. Mm -hmm. uh, correspondence, <laughs> it's vacation time next week. Uh, the chief of police will be on vacation, the tax collector will be on vacation, the treasurer will be on vacation, and our administrative assistant will be on vacation. No, she'll be going to school. Wow. Brenda's going okay. to school. I'm sorry. <laughs> she will not be in the town hall. Yeah. She'll be in Monday. Okay. Monday. I think I saw in communication no. that Sandy was in the same boat. I don't know about Sandy. I don't know if she's, she's so, Any other issues before the board this evening? Just one thought, speaking of Sandy. Sandy came in with an idea of a tax amnesty, something that we've done in the past. And, have, yeah. and I'm just curious as to what the board feels. Tax, I've never heard of a tax amnesty. Okay. Yeah, she mentioned something to me about that last week. Okay, what what I suggested or encouraged her to do is to provide us some background yeah, so that we too. could have it. Are we knee jerking? Or are we just no? I'm wanted? just no. I I don't like the idea. We we're, we're holding guns to people's heads. Oh, true. I, but if it would motivate yeah. some, we have to understand. What I'll, it would I'll tell be. you what. The I'm I'm speaking a personal experience, and I don't like to throw my laundry out there, but. When the market crashed, you know, my, my career was building. I was in a very, very bad place. Yep. You know, I started working 80 hours a week for very minimum uh, pay wage just to keep a roof over my head. And I was delinquent in my taxes. And I wasn't given a tax and amnesty. I paid every single penny back okay. with penalties, interest, and yep. there was no leniency. So I just, it's not just me, it's other people out there in the town of Brookfield that didn't have the same Again, if we've had success and we can understand what that success yeah. was, then we should listen. Now, was she just talking, is this just like on your tax title property? Yes. Yeah, this is the tax title yeah. property. It's just another idea to collect that, that's all. All right. Yeah. Any other issues, items? Entertain yeah, a motion. We have a lady in the back. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Definitely, sure. have a seat. We're a very approachable bunch of people. Welcome. Hi, I'm Peggy Bacon. I live over on 18 Main Street, sometimes called East Main Street. I'm here because I'm, we've been having an ongoing situation with the highway superintendent regarding an issue of the improper removal of a street sign on Limerick Ave, which uh, is the right of way to the rest of the property on our farm. Uh, that occurred last September. You had emailed us, correct? Yes. Was this the one where he had a discussion with your mom? Or? Most, yes. Same I thought issue. That was, I thought that was resolved. I had discussed it with him, too, and I thought it was resolved. No, it has not been resolved, and that's why I'm here. It's been almost a year. I do, you know, I can, this, all there's been has been excuses. Well, I've we, been waiting. We, we addressed it at a meeting. I understand you addressed it. he said he was going to take care of it. He, yeah. Well, it's pure, would to me that would be insubordination to you and a lack of respect for the board. But I w all I'm asking is that it be requested that it be done, that it be time limited, so that there is a specific date of completion. And if it is not done by that time, that there be appropriate circumstances for this person. I do have to thank him, though. Uh, Every, uh, every time I'd go by North Berkeley, I would get home, my dad would ask me if the um, sign was up, and I'd say, no, it's not up, Dad, and he'd go his usual, well, I'll be dead before it's up, and he did prove him right, so I'd like to see my mother alive when the sign goes so, up. So, 
please correct me if I'm wrong. We had the discussion. Yeah. He told yeah. us he was going to do it. They're going to make the sign. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. And with with Krista being down there and being quoted that she's making signs. Yeah. I, I yeah. don't think it's it's out of the ordinary to entertain her request to put a time limit yeah. on it with ramifications. Yeah. Yes, lots of signs available. Yeah, the, signs the, the original the signs sign. available somewhere. I, I think the discussion was it was still around. I'm sure oh. it is. I'm sure it's hanging up in someone's garage. I just want to sign up. I went through a discussion with him how he told me how some school come town committee had blocked a sign on some property where he had uh, access and they closed. The, I said I don't want to hear about it. It's the same thing. We just want it done. It never should have been taken down. It was one of those. I believe who you know. And I just would like it back up as soon as possible. So I'll entertain a motion to uh, instruct the highway superintendent to have the sign installed by whatever the motion wants to be for a date. End of the month. Yeah. Good with the month. month. Yeah. Or, um, I'll make well, not the end. The, well, do you want the end of the month or do you want a full month? month? The end of this month? No, it's end, the end of this month. End of this month. Absurd. I'm okay with that. Yeah. That's, we're just a week into it. And if Krista's down. Limerick. Yeah. And if Chris Chris got the is sign down there, hope. she can make it. She so I will I will entertain said motion to have Limerick street sign installed before the end of the month. Oh, yeah. to the highway I will make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none all in favor. Aye. 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 Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. See so you can you re reach out yeah. to uh, Highway Superintendent yeah. actually reach out no, to didn't uh, Cindy huh? immediately no, didn't make sure that's taken <laughs> care of? <laughs> Bacon. 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 That was a long time ago. We, 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 we addressed December. it. Yes, we addressed yeah, it. I, had, I talked to him and about it. And then you and I spoke yeah. in January. Yeah. Yes. He said he was. He said he was going to get. Well, he told me in October it'd be up in two weeks. Then he told my mother it'd be up in two weeks. You have more broken equipment in that highway department that he has to fix in two weeks. Okay. Then um, it seems getting in the way. So. I really appreciate well, we, your we, we apologize. Okay. We apologize you, for that. You are not at fault. Well, fuck stops you don't here. own it. Yep. You know we, we do it. own it. We own it. Well, yeah, I guess so. We own it. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Entertain a motion to adjourn at 624. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Aye. everyone. Aye.